It's December of 2024 and I just got a new MacBook Pro to replace my old one from back in 2018. So I thought I'd make a quick video comparing the user interfaces of the two. I decided to get the 14 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro processor, which I bought new, but this one was made last year in 2023. My old computer is a 13.3 inch MacBook Pro with an Intel i5 processor made in 2017, although I bought it new in 2018. So about six years have passed between these two models, and I have to say that the new MacBook Pro is a lot more computer in almost every way. Looking at the exterior dimensions, the new model is just over a quarter of an inch larger in overall length, and it's almost three-eighths of an inch larger in width. And if we open them up, you can see the difference in the screen sizes with the newer 14-inch screen on the left and the 13.3-inch screen on the right. And don't read anything into screen quality or monitor calibration here. I'm just trying to show the differences in their screen sizes. The screen on the old computer has had issues for almost a year, which is the main reason that I upgraded. So I just tried to adjust these to be similar as possible for this video. The newer design is also thicker and heavier, but it still feels balanced and not too chunky. Although it's obvious it's a lot more machine than the older models. There are more ports and charging options on the newer MacBook Pros, and the models with the Pro chip and the Max chip come with an extra USB-C port on the right side, along with the standard HDMI port and the SD card reader slot. The charge cable is a magnetic MagSafe 3 connector, which snaps into place and also offers breakaway protection. And you can see here that it's also pretty strong. The cool thing is you can also charge using one of the USB-C ports. The keyboard on the new Mac is also a little bit nicer and the keys stand a little bit taller and I'll try to show the difference here. This is the keyboard on the old Mac and although heavily used it seems like the keys on the new Mac are almost a 32nd of an inch taller. The function keys on the keyboard of the new Mac are also larger which is very nice. There are a few other changes to the keyboard as well. The new MacBook Pro has a Touch ID fingerprint reader on the on-off button, which is nice for passwords and signing into things. The old Mac just has the on-off button. The left and right arrow keys on the new Mac are smaller than the ones on the old Mac. And the function key on the new Mac has a globe-like symbol, and it apparently can be set up as an emoji picker, whereas the old Mac just has the standard function key. And technically, the trackpad on the new Mac is about an eighth of an inch shorter than the trackpad of the old model. But it's really not even noticeable. The widths are the same. Looking underneath, the cooling vents are a bit different between the two models, with the vents on the new model positioned more along the corner of the hinge. The new model also has vents along the sides for cool air intake. And the feet on the new model are larger and more pronounced as well. Here's a look at the tops and the difference between the new space black and the space gray color of the older model. On the inside, this M3 Pro Chip model has two cooling fans, which I almost never hear. The computer is super quiet and stays cool and the battery life is great so far. In contrast, the 2017 model would heat up while editing photos or videos or while charging. And I noticed this right out of the box. Also, the fan would make lots of noise to the point where I would have to stop recording audio or voiceover narration until the computer cooled off. With all that being said, I've basically used this machine every day in some way since 2018, often multitasking while editing videos, photos, and audio. It's never been babied and has traveled with me for years while I was on the road driving box trucks across the country. The screen finally gave out, and while still usable for most tasks, I thought it was time to upgrade to this new M3 Pro MacBook Pro. If my experience with this new computer changes, I'll add my thoughts to the video description or in the comments.